Um, well, it's due with what you just said last there about uh, the direct self um, and the exercise, the, the activity this morning, I had real difficulty in finding that awareness. So is the, is the over the five days, what is the practice that we can use to find, to uh, touch on that, um, find that? Well, the, 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 pra the practice will be just to, to follow whatever our meditations, to follow the meditation. I have no idea what tomorrow's meditation will will be. But all I would say is this, that um, your question suggests that you're looking for awareness in the same way that you would look for some subtle object of experience. It's like you, you go, you travel around this house in search of your eyes. You never find your eyes traveling around. You travel around the world, you'll never see your eyes. So your question betrays the fact that you're looking for awareness in yes. the content of your experience. That, that's How can I find awareness? I look in my thoughts, no, it's not there. I look in my feelings, it's not. I look in my body, no, it's where is it? And you're, 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 you're looking for awareness as a, as, a, as a very subtle experience. No, awareness is the one that is looking. It can never be looked at. So your mind has to relax back into it. It cannot go forwards towards it. But the, the one that seeks awareness as an object is like, a, is like a current in the ocean in search of water. Your mind is already swimming in that for which it is in search. But you can never find it as an object of your experience. So it's more a relaxing than a seeking. Okay. The, the risk is I fall asleep. <laughs> yes, you're quite right. You do fall asleep because normally what happens to us when we stop thinking and perceiving? We fall asleep. That's what going to sleep is. You get into bed and, and thoughts disappear, perceptions disappear, and we find ourselves asleep. Yet, yeah. Ramana Maharshi once described meditation as falling asleep whilst remaining awake. So yes, you, you, it, it's good that you fall asleep because it shows that you're letting go of thoughts and perceptions. Thank so you. Tomorrow, if you find yourself falling asleep in meditation, just stand up. And I, I mean it literally. Stand up, because it's quite difficult to fall asleep standing up. So just, just stand up. That will prevent you falling asleep. But take the same pathway that you take when you go to sleep at night. That is, you let go. You do, when you fall asleep at night, you don't go in search of deep sleep. You relax into deep sleep. You let go of your thoughts. You let go of your troubles. You let go of your sensations and perceptions. You let go of your feelings. And you find yourself. You sink into sleep. You don't reach for it. Well, meditation is the same. You want to feel that you're sinking backwards into the essence of your mind. So it's like falling asleep, but without falling asleep. Okay. I'll, I'll try that. Try that.